23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bird of son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. is a gentleman on the gallery you put on white you are sitting washing stand up come down I call you out because I'm seeing coffee side by side you know you nearly go into coma of reason yes sir the spirit of death keep killing you people in the house. Yes, sir. So that's why I call you that you are here. You are no longer the meat of them or Satan. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus love you. Thank you, okay? Jesus. So there's a reconciliation going on. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You and who? The family. Concerning what? Concerning my uh, brother's wife. All oh, this is a lie. They just want to spoil them. Thank you, Jesus. I want to testify to the glory of God, what God has done in my life. My name is Caleb Awulola from Kwara State. I reside in Lagos State here. Yeah. Last week's Sunday, during the morning service, man of God prophesied to my life, as we can see from the clip, that there is a gentleman on the gallery, putting on white, that I should come down. When I came down, he said to me, do you know the reason why I call you? I said, no, sir. He said, he could see a coffin by my side. And people have been uh, dying in our family, which I confirm it is true. Because in recent years, we have lost two of my elderly brothers in the family. And he said there is a record translation going on between you and who? I said between my brother's wife, one of my late brother's wife. And he said everything is a lie. They just want to spell my name. Then on uh, that Sunday, man of God prayed for me and delivered me. On Tuesday, when I went to my place of work, in the evening, around 8 o'clock, my wife had to call me that the fence in our house, that is a fence dividing us and the next building, and the fence is about 12 feet tall. The fence collapsed. And where we normally sit in front of the house, me and my wife and the children, the fence collapsed and destroyed the window, the door, everything that day. And that was the place we normally sit down around 7, between 7 and 8 o'clock, if there is no light, before we put on the generator. But thank God, that day I was not at home, and nobody sat down there. But my nephew that was living with me, a 26-year-old boy, he was about to enter. He was coming from outside. He wanted to enter. When that uh, fence collapsed, and that thing fell on him. But to God be the glory, he did not die. And he was rushed to the hospital, as we can see from this picture. He was rushed to the hospital and got treatment. And he came back home. Thank you. There is a man you were shot in the dream. You received a gunshot in the dream. 
And uh, since that gone short, your life has not been the same. And you felt it immediately, you woke up. The reason why I'm calling you is the accident that happened of recent. So this is a mark, it's a mark that they must get rid of you, but with God, all things are possible. So you are there. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. I received gunshots in the dream two days ago. You know, it was not too late. It was around 11, 12. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The reason why I call you is not gunshot. But now since that you are weak, you cannot sleep, you don't understand what has happened to you. Yes, sir. You want to faint. Yes, sir. Liberación después de recibir profecía de que había recibido un disparo en el sueño. Watch your screen. That is deliverance and the power of the Holy Ghost taking place right now. Vous avez confirmé la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu. Donc il y a un homme ici qui a reçu des coups de fusil dans le rêve. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. My name is Joe Marshall Ifediora. I'm from Abuja, Nigeria. I was in the congregation when the man of God called me and said that there was a brother that had a dream. In the, uh, had a dream and uh, we had gunshots in the dream. And, uh, and um, since then that he has been having problem that he should come out. There is a man you were shot in the dream. You received a gunshot in the dream. And uh, since that gunshot, your life has not been the same. And you felt it immediately you woke up. The reason why I'm calling you is the accident that happened of recent. So this is a mark, it's a mark that they must get rid of you, but with God, all things are possible. So you are there. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. I received gunshots in the dream two days ago. You know, it was not too late. It was around 11, 12. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two days ago, I had a dream. Uh, I had a dream. Some group of people were pursuing me, and they shot me. And uh, I didn't die actually in the dream, but when I woke up, since then my life has not been the same. The reason why I call you is not gone short, but now since that you are weak, you cannot sleep, you don't understand what has happened to you. Yes, sir. You want to faint. Yes, sir. I confirm the prophecy to be true. I'm having some signs, dizziness, uh, shortness of breath, headache, and, um, and uh, weakness of the body. In fact, I, I nearly fainted when the procession was going on today. Since the man of God has seen it, it has been, uh, you know, it has been over, and my life will not be the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for your life and for this word of prophecy that you have received today. And uh, we want to advise you, as you go, make the word of God the standard for your life so that this healing, deliverance, and freedom you have received today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. The woman there, they want to operate you. That is why you are here. You are booked for operation. But you know, the sign you are having very bad. You put on English dress and white inside your dress. Man of God, I'm the woman you said I'm wearing English wear with white in a book for operation of fibroid. Man of God, this is my report, my medical report that I have multiple fibroid. Please deliver me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receiving English, he en lista de operación debido a fibroide múltiple. Glory be to God, that is deliverance and the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mrs. Inyangudo. I came from a Kwaibum state. I received a prophecy from the man of God that there's a womb that there was a woman that was booked for an operation the woman was wearing english wear with white background so i came out because i was the one that was booked for an operation the woman there they want to operate you that is why you are here you are booked for operation 
but you know the sign you are having very bad. Please come, you put on English dress and white inside your dress. Man of God, I'm the woman you said I'm wearing English wear with white in a book for operation of fibroid. I confirm it to be true because I was booked for an operation and the doctor confirmed that I had fibroid and booked me for an operation. And, and this is the medical report that was confirmed by the doctor. I confirm the word of God to be true. I believe because I know everything is over today in Jesus' name. And the operation has been canceled in Jesus' name. Amen. And we thank God for your life. We want to advise you to go and make the word of God the standard for your life so that this freedom, healing, and deliverance you have received today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. There is a sister there. The reason why I'm calling you is you bed wet all the time. Jesus will deliver you. This is start of recent. I am the woman that used to be directed. I'm even be the day before yesterday. There is a place you went to, and they took you to the river. This one, you went there, and uh, what happened is that uh, it was goat. I'm seeing goat. So if it is bedwetting, the reason why I call you, I will not bother to call you. But what has happened to you, that's the spirit that is in you is dog. Yes, ma'am. All the time you see dog will make love with you. When you wake up, it, you become crazy. As if no man can place you. Yes, man of God. My husband used to complain it that I, I'm, my anger is too much and I don't know how to control it. Miss, Mrs. Precious Ono. Oh I'm from uh, Anambra State. Son of God said there is a one woman who used to be dwetted and the, all the time. There's a sister there. The reason why I'm calling you is you bed wet all the time. Jesus will deliver you. This is start of recent. Son of God, I am the woman that used to be dwetted. I'm even bed the day before yesterday. This too. All the time, I used to be treated every time. So, and uh, again, man of God said, there is a one liver which they took me into the liver. When I got there, the spirit of God come inside me. This one, you went there, and uh, what happened is that uh, it was goat. I'm seeing goat. And it's true. One night, when I swim, when I wake up, I tell my husband that I... I saw the goats, they didn't have two horns and tail, that he come and make love with me. And the prophet of man of God is through him, and he said there is a spirit of dog. If it is bedwetting, the reason why I call you, I will not bother to call you. But what has happened to you, that the spirit that is in you is dog. Yes, ma'am. All the time you see dog will make love with you, when you wake up, it, you become crazy. I said, no man can place you. And it's true. Dog made love with me in dream. It's true. And after that, no man can please me. And I become crazy. And even though I can beat, I can destroy. When that dog come to make love with me, then when I wake up, I begin anger that I cannot control myself. Even my husband, maybe my husband said anything. I will fight my husband, I will beat my husband. I can't control myself, even my thoughts, even everything. I make me to destroy everything in my house. And my husband tell me to go and warm food. I became anger and I carry my television and block. Sometimes I will destroy my property. Even my baby, my baby was a two years old boy. Because of that spirit of dog, when he make love with me, then in the morning I wake up, I now call my baby, my little boy, to come and do something. I now beat my baby, I now break his head. Sometimes if, I now block his head. Sometimes if I beat my children, I can't control myself. Even though my neighbors, they will come and please with me. 
but I cannot, I will not listen to them. I will beat them to my test. I become an, a crazy person. I cannot control myself. Even my husband, sometimes he will get scared of me. He, he, he sometimes, when my husband wants to talk something, when I shun him, he has fear of me. Even I bedwetting all the time. Even last week, even day before yesterday, sometimes when I wake up, I will be dreaded. Instead of my children, we be dreaded. I'm the one that used to be dreaded. Sometimes I feel um, shame. So I will now pack the brain sheets and go and wash. So, but today I'm free in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you tell us how long you were suffering from this problem of bedwetting? It had been a long time. Even when I was 12 years, I started. So, even that time, my brothers, they used to abuse me. Even my my mates, my age mates, till when I got married till today. But today, do you believe that this, uh, through this message of prophecy, that deliverance and breakthrough has come to your life? Yes, I believe that I'm already delivered as I'm here. Amen. We thank God that your past is over. Well, we just want to advise you that it's not just enough to come to Jesus Christ to receive a solution through this message of prophecy, but we also want to advise you to make his word the standard for your life so your deliverance will be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Baba, this is uh, an accusation, but you are not the type that you accuse. You have been coming all the way long, full of trouble. But this accusation, the way people see you, is a very bad. But it's not you, but you're a good man. So something happened to you March last year. It was a terrible experience. That's true. It's a community family issue. Yes. Uh -huh. Three people were killed. That's what I'm saying. I said they see you as evil. You are not an evil. You're a nice man. You're a nice man. That's why I'm saying the, the way they look at you. You're a nice man. They just want to destroy your career, your image. You're a good man. Okay. Thank, so, you. thank you. I'm Chief Major P.A. Gunner from Ugeli, Delta State of Nigeria. And so today you received a message of prophecy during the service from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Can you please share with us the word of God that he gave to you? Uh, when he saw me, he just called me out. He said, uh, people are accusing you of what uh, you did not do. That you, you are a good man, you are so good. I am not the type they should uh, give such accusation. Something happened. About March last year, something happened in my community, which uh, I know nothing about, but they're accusing me of it. Baba, this is uh, an accusation, but you are not the type that you accuse. You have been coming all the way long, full of trouble, but this accusation, the way people see you, is a very bad, but it's not you, but you're a good man. So something happened to you March last year. It was a terrible experience. That's true. It's a community family issue. Yes. Uh -huh. Three people were killed. That's what I'm saying. I said they see you as evil. You are not an evil. You're a nice man. You're a nice man. That's why I'm saying the, the way they look at you. You're a nice man. They just want to destroy your career and your image. As a community leader, uh, a group wanted uh, the youth uh, dissolved. And I told them that it would be unfair if you dissolve a community youth, it will be better for them to stay for the period uh, which is less than a year. Then after that, you can give them uh, a new election to elect uh, new leaders instead of dissolving them when their time has not completed. There was a, a sort of uh, misunderstanding between the two groups and uh, the other group evaded the other group that led to killing of three youths in the, in the community. And this is the community family issue that the man of God, Prophet Hebe Joshua, was talking about? Yes, it is. And uh, he mentioned that uh, they see you as evil, but you are a nice man. Yes, because uh, from my 30 years of uh, uh, military service, I have not even... Uh, committed offense. My, uh, since I left the 
I mean, over 25 years ago, I have not uh, clashed with anybody at all. It was just the community matter, and I don't want problem. That's why I want them to remain. But uh, the other group said no, they must go, and that's how it happened. But do you believe that today, through this message of prophecy, that breakthrough has come, and uh, it has been cancelled in Jesus' name? Yes, in Jesus' name it has been cancelled. Well, we thank God for the message of prophecy, and uh, we want to advise you, sir, that it's not just enough to come to Jesus Christ and to receive a word uh, of prophecy and deliverance and breakthrough, but now that you have received this, we uh, also advise you to make his word the standard for your life, and we believe that the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, can I, where is your son? In Canada. The reason why I'm asking this, your son, because he received very, very critical reason. His worry is bothering. He's not happy. It's true. Because of what is happening in the family. Yes. The home is not settled. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's a great child. He talk like a old people. Yeah. Because you have tried, you are trying to keep peace. But the more you try, the more the whole thing. Because the life you are living before you get into marriage was different from the life you are living now. There is a letter you receive, a letter. There is a document you receive. Okay. My name is uh, Moises Pimentel, and we come from Toronto, Canada. The prophet... Um, Instead of asking me where is uh, my son, uh, there is a son that uh, is not quite uh, settled. The home is not settled because uh, there is a son that he thinks uh, well ahead, uh, like a maturity. And I say, he said, yes, it is true. He said that he's not happy and he's worried because uh, things that happen in the family. And, and also said that he's a great child that he thinks in a way uh, ahead of, of his age. And it's true. I come from that. Brother, can I, where is your son? In Canada. The reason why I'm asking this, your son, because he received very, very critical reason. His worry is bothering. He's not happy. It's true. Because of what is happening in the family. Yes. The home is not settled. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's a great child. He talk like a old people. Yeah. He is my second child from my previous relationship. And then uh, he is complaining that um, I abandoned him, and uh, which is not true. But uh, that's why he's been in his mind. That's how the conflict uh, has been residing. So that's what the man of God meant when he said that he was not happy because of what is happening in the family. Yes, that is true. It is a great child. I mean, he's a very smart. And, uh, you know, he thinks that like he's a weight of his age, way more uh, far, uh, uh, mature than what he, the age that he is. And then um, he also told me that I've been trying to keep peace at home, but uh, it hasn't worked <laughs> yet. Because you have tried, you are trying to keep peace, but the more you try, the more the hurt it. Uh, that is true. I was working it on and, and still still struggle. And he also mentioned uh, about a letter that I received. There's a letter you receive, a letter. There's a document you receive. It's exactly true what he said. I mean, um, and now what I really made me believe is that God concerns about it because nobody knew about this. I mean, I never talked to nobody about this here. And uh, he really um, brought up this situation. There is a contract. Of, uh, of, uh, I, I lend um, a huge amount of money to a person, and that person doesn't want to pay me that money back now. Um, and then uh, that is really uh, uh, made me so much worry about about that and do you believe that through this message of prophecy that uh, breakthrough has come to your life and to the life of your child and your family i believe so yes amen well, we thank god for the message of prophecy uh, that has revealed the root cause of uh, your problems in life and we just want to advise you that it's not just enough to receive a word from jesus christ that will change the course of your life but uh, you should also make his word the standard for your life um, as a Christian, stay true to him. No matter what happens, no matter what comes, Jesus Christ is there to see you through. So God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. There's a brother there. You have pie. 
This pie coming out anytime you go to the toilet and it becomes big and bigger. You have to use your hand to push it. The reason why I'm saying this is that uh, it's not pie, it's poison. You sat on the poison. Mm, come out. You sat on the poison. It's not pie. It's poison. So it's poison. And the whole thing is giving you waist pain and uh, waking you, your affection to your wife, you are very weak. It's true, man of God. It's not, it's not pie. My name is Advocate Nemukura Eric. I come from South Africa, Limpopo province. The man of God, looking at the spot where I was standing, he prophesies that there is a brother who has got pies. Whenever he goes to the toilet, the pile will come out and he will have to use a hand to push it in. And that uh, this pile is growing bigger and bigger every day. He further prophesies that uh, that which is said or believed to be pies, it's not pies, but uh, I set on a poison. He further prophesies that uh, the... Uh, this problem affect me as I experience the waist pains as well as uh, uh, poor affection towards my wife. There is a brother there, you have pie. This pie coming out anytime you go to the toilet and it becomes big and bigger. You have to use your hand to push it. The reason why I'm saying this is that uh, it's not pie, it's poison. You sat on the poison. Mm, come out. You sat on the poison, it's not pie. It's poison. So it's poison. And the whole thing is giving you waist pain and uh, waking you, your affection to your wife, you are very weak. It's true, man of God. It's poison. It's not, it's not pie. I do confirm that uh, the word of prophecy from the man of God, T.B. Joshua, is true. Um, yes, of course, the person is myself. Each time I go to the toilet, I experience what the man of God has prophesied. The pile would come out, and of course, I will have to push it in, and uh, it's very painful, and it's growing bigger and bigger uh, every day. And of course, it also affects me as the man of God had prophesied through the indicating that I also experience waist pain and uh, poor reaction or affection towards my wife. The word of God through the man of God, T.B. Joshua, is true, and I confirm it to be true. This is the day of my liberation and freedom. And of course, I am healed from uh, the condition which the man of God had prophesied. We thank God for your life and for this word of prophecy that you received today. And we want to advise you to go and make the word of God the standard for your life so that this healing, freedom and deliverance you receive today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Madam. Come. Why is your mom? The woman that you are living with when you are very young is not your mom. Yes. What can you say about that woman? People come in to a house. It's like a, it's a seer. Yeah, it's living with many people in the house. When you are very young, it's a seer. Because what you are facing now, you, there is an attack, demonic attack, that is attacking you. Yes. When it's attacking you, you behave funny in the night. Yes, men of God. You know what I'm talking about? They say, demon that coming to attack you in the night, you behave funny. That's true, man of God. My name is Juliet Vuma. I'm coming from South Africa. Yeah, the message you gave to me started by saying, where is your mom? And then she told me that the woman that I've grown up, She's not my mom. She's a seer. Madam, come. Why is your mom, the woman that you are living with when you are very young, is not your mom? Yes. What can you say about that woman? People coming to a house. It's like a, it's a seer. I was living with my younger mother. She's not my biological mother. She's the younger sister of my mother. That woman, she used to see things when she's sleeping. She used to see things, and when she sees things, yes, things that she sees, it happens. She says, yeah. And then the prophecy goes on and says, uh, during the night, you have having some attack, the evil attack. But what you are facing now, 
you there's an attack, demonic attack that is attacking you. Yes. When it's attacking you, you behave funny in the night. Yes, men of God. So you know what I'm talking about? They say demon that coming to attack you in the night, you behave funny. That is true because always during the night when I'm sleeping, I, I don't have to wake up straight. I wake up like I'm running uh, up of the bed. And even my husband told me that when he talked to me, I behave funny. The way I talk to, to him is not good. I behave funny. It's what he told me that, no, I'm even afraid of waking you up the way you behave when I called you. Sometimes I dream some bad dreams, dreaming that uh, somebody's dead. Do you believe that this message of prophecy has brought deliverance and breakthrough to your life? Yes, I believe, especially about my mom and myself. I believe this is a breakthrough. That is why I'm here. Well, we thank God for the breakthrough you have received today in the name of Jesus Christ through his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. And uh, we just want to advise you that through this message of prophecy, um, it should be a reason why you uh, get closer to Jesus Christ, make his word a standard for your life, and we know that the best is yet to come. The way out for you has come and for your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Christ, to empower his father.